Some people like all the drama. Not me. Nope. We are under a mostly cloudy skies, but actually a few breaks in the clouds is made for kind of a pretty sunset as the sun is going down. Cloud cover cannot seem to shake it, but that is very typical of an El Nino winter, which you're going to hear us talking more about as it will continue right through February. 63 degrees, our current temperature, dew points, and the temperatures have actually been coming down since earlier this morning. <laughs> temperatures actually peaked at 69 degrees, and if you're wondering when that happened, it was at 1050 this morning. Then temperatures started to fall, and most of the midday afternoon hours were spent more in the mid and lower 60s, and they will continue to fall overnight. Now, our morning low is 58 degrees. We could be lower than that just before midnight tonight, which if that is the case, that would be the low. I was showing you our computer model, keeping the cloud cover with us overnight and into tomorrow. Really not going to see more sunshine until briefly on Wednesday as clouds will start coming back in by Thursday. Low upper 50s and low 60s on the map right now. Dew points have been coming down. We did get kind of a surge just some cooler, drier air late yesterday evening, and that will kind of start off a cooler week with another surge coming in on Wednesday. That will also help to clear us out. Light winds outside at the moment, but generally a northerly wind, and we will see cooler temperatures right through Thursday. Again, likely bottoming out Wednesday afternoon and into Thursday morning. By Friday into the Saturday, warming up briefly ahead of a cold front, which will bring in a chance for some showers and storms on Saturday. Not the same setup this coming Saturday that we saw this past Past Saturday. Here's what's going on right now. We've got this southwesterly flow aloft that is keeping the cloud cover around. We're going to get the secondary surge on into Wednesday, which will finally help to clear us out. And with that surge, cooler air, high temperatures struggling into the upper 50s on Wednesday and morning lows on Thursday will be in the 30s and 40s. Thursday afternoon, though, clouds start working right back into the area. This is a pattern which actually has its sources out over the Pacific Ocean. It comes comes over northern and central Mexico into the Gulf and right over southeast Louisiana. Just a little uh, nudge to the south gets rid of it, but this is a very common pattern in El Nino. This is also it kind of brings in that overrunning moisture and cloud cover. We'll finally see that with an upper trough and weak front into Wednesday. As I said, by Thursday, clouds start returning. By the weekend, though, a deeper, stronger upper trough is what will help to bring in a chance for some showers. So there are really two upper systems that we're going to be watching in the near future. One that will help to clear us out for Wednesday in terms of sunshine, and then the other will bring in that chance for some showers and storms on Saturday, also bringing down another surge of colder air. So let's try and time out the rainfall Friday into the Saturday. With this advancing front, may see a few isolated showers on Friday, 10, 20%, I think, at most. Now, this is based on the GFS. Saturday midday still dry. Afternoon and early evening is when most of the rainfall moves on through. Doesn't look like a great deal of that shower activity really holds together as it moves into southeast Louisiana. So this is not really looking to be a big rain event, nor really even a severe weather event. At the moment, as that line approaches Saturday and into early Sunday morning, this will likely be the area highlighted for a level two threat of severe weather. Beyond that, as that front approaches going into our area late Saturday, early Sunday, we might see a marginal level one threat. Not yet certain if it's going to include all of southeast Louisiana at this time. Point is, it looks like one, that line would be weakening as it moves in, and two, if we can time it out well, most of those showers may be more midday and early afternoon on Saturday, so any evening plans on Saturday, we may already be clearing out with the rainfall. So this is not going to be an all-day event, and it is not going to be the same type of setup that we saw this past Saturday. So over the next few days on the cool side, lows in the 40s, upper, uh, excuse me, low 60s for a high on Tuesday, upper 50s for a high on Wednesday. Our cold this morning with maybe a little bit of a light frost, perhaps a light freeze, mainly to our north on uh, Thursday morning, warming up quickly before that front moves on through. I got a 70% chance that may be generous. Most of our rain, I think, is going to be a little bit farther north, but then temperatures coming down and clearing out by the second half of the weekend and going into early next week.